Hello, Tacha Hao, and apa kabar semua? It's been a while since we have this time together. It's been tough, I know, but I do really hope that you are doing well during the pandemic. I'm your host Kelvin Tay, and you're tuned into another episode of Tweak Mini, where I packed up all the interesting gaming news of the week to keep you up to speed. As you can see, I'm recording this in the comfort of my home, so it's only natural if I popped up my Animal Crossing home to, well, record this episode for you. Anyways, that's enough banter. Let's get the show going. First up on the news, we have CDPR's co-founder coming out to publicly own up to their fault with what Cyberpunk is in its state today. Well, is it good enough? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to decide and you can tell me in the comments down below. In the apology video, they have also showed us a very vague-ish roadmap of what they plan to do with Cyberpunk all the way up to 2022. Uh, we saw multiple updates and improvement, but it doesn't look like it's coming out anytime soon. To be honest with you, I really enjoyed my first playthrough with Cyberpunk and I love my time with it. I am looking forward to what they have to bring with the updates, fixes, and well, I just really want to see what Cyberpunk's true potential really is. Up next is Lucasfilm Games and everything that entails. So apparently Lucasfilm Games is back. And for the older gamers, this is the same studio that brought us games such as Secret of Monkey Island and all the classic Indiana Jones and Star Wars titles like Jedi Academy and Republic Commando. According to StarWars.com, and I quote, Lucasfilm Games is now opening the doors to developers that want to come play in the galaxy far, far away. We're looking to work with the best in-class team that can make great games across all of our IP. Case in point, this week itself we saw Bethesda and Machine Games came out and teased what seems to be like a brand new Indiana Jones title. Machine Games, as you know, are the team behind the rebooted Wolfenstein franchise and yes, they look like they love kicking some Nazis butt. And another surprising announcement this week is that Ubisoft Massive is coming out with a new Star Wars game. And for those of you who don't know, Ubisoft Massive is the team that brought us the Tom Clancy The Division series. And this time around, they are hinting at an RPG open world Star Wars game. Well, I for one am super excited at how Disney and Lucasfilm Games is opening up their doors to other developers besides EA. Well, I've said a lot of shit about EA and Star Wars on podcasts a lot, but personally, I feel EA has pushed out some amazing titles, but it's time for them to let go and let other developers show us what they really have. Up next are just some game trailers that dropped this week, so I'm just going to browse through them with you. We got a new look at a brand new Super Mario game called Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury. Nintendo explained this game to be a short, action-packed, free-roaming Mario adventure. It is a standalone title from other Super Mario games and it will be coming out on February 12th. And on April 30th, Pokemon fans will be excited for the next installment of Pokemon Snap. According to IG and Southeast Asia, the new Pokemon Snap will take place in the Lantel region and it will take players on a Pokemon-filled adventure through jungles, deserts and more. Well, this game has been a long time coming since the last Pokemon Snap and I am super excited for this title itself. And on the last bit of news, we will be expecting some juicy news update from Capcom as they are dropping new trailers for Resident Evil Village. Rumors are we will be seeing zombies and vampires in their next title, so that's definitely something to look forward to. But what I really like to see from that showcase is a Resident Evil 4 remake. Give me some of that Leon Kennedy action going, man. Overall, this is just a showcase of Capcom flexing their 2021 roadmap. You know we're always excited for this kind of news. And speaking of roadmaps, it looks like we're at the end of the road for this episode. Let me know what you think about the games that I've mentioned and whatever was mentioned, you can find it in the descriptions below. But before we go, I have some questions for you. What kind of games do you think Ubisoft Massive is coming out with? And are you excited for the new Pokemon Snap title? Tell me all in the comments below. I'll be replying to every one of you. As usual, I've been your host Calvin Tate and you've been tuning in to another episode of TWIG Mini. Don't forget to catch our epic arcade podcast. So, till next time guys.